this video, I'm going to talk you through how to track macros using my fitness pal and also pay attention, stay tuned at the end for a freebie. Firstly, what are macronutrients and why is it important to track them? So macronutrients are proteins, carbs and fats and you want to be eating a certain amount of each per day to get a certain result. So if you're in a gaining phase, you may want to be in a caloric surplus, so you need to know well, how many calories you're eating per day and what the makeup of those calories are. And if you want to be in a def if you want to lose fat, then you've got to be in a deficit. And I have a video on how to calculate how many calories you need. Um, that'll be linked at the moment, wherever, somewhere here. Um, so go and check that out as well if you haven't already. So proteins, carbs, fats, um, the amount and makeup of how they look for you each day is going to be totally different depending on your goals, your lifestyle, your training, your whatever it is. But the basic simple answer is they are your proteins, carbs and fats and we want to hit a certain amount each day in order to get a certain result. Now I'll walk you through steps from downloading the app to putting them in to how to actually use the app. Um, and how to find it useful for your goals and needs. But again, if you need it, uh, to figure out how much calories and macros you need, go and check out that other video. So switching to the voice over here, and you're going to go to the App Store on this iPhone, if that's what you've got. Download My Fitness Pal, that's what it looks like. I'd imagine it's the same on Android. So we'll skip to the next bit, no need to get through all that. <coughs> then set up your account blah 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 so first of all you want to here is where your targets are this is what it looks like and this is where you're going to see what you want to hit for the day now i would ignore the recommendations by my fitness pal i don't think that any use whatsoever so that is something you'd like to take into consideration and here you are accessing the camera so it's very simple all you do is pick an ad food scan the barcode there it is. Eggs, how you go premium, you don't need to go premium. I personally only use the normal version and it does me fine. So I'm going to add my breakfast in here. So that's two eggs. Um, then I'm going to type in some egg whites because you can't really scan egg whites. There it is, they come up nice and easy. Two egg whites, so there you go. Now you can also customise these to add in more meals etc if you do that i personally have my own one which is six uh, six meals laid out for the day but i just wanted to record this so that you were seeing what it looked like from the start so i know normally i have chicken salad as my second meal so i'm trying to find the barcode here and feeling miserably but i do switch to i do find another packet of chicken um oh, i believe I just type in Tesco chicken, yeah, there you go, just find another packet of chicken, so we'll use that, um, again, sometimes the barcodes can be quite tricky to pull up, but 9 times out of 10 they do eventually show up, um, so again, you want to mix about your weights and things, depending on the targets you're setting, so here I've added in 200 grams, and I believe I'm going to attempt to hit targets of 225 um, grams for the day, then 200 protein, 225 carb, and <clears throat> 55 fat. So, as you see here, added in some basmati rice. Um, again, changing the quantities to suit yourself, um, of course. Now, moving on from here, I believe I'm going to add some peas. Yep, there you go. Again, it's very simple, very repetitive. Once you get the hang of it, it's very easy. Scanning barcodes, the majority of things are going to show up. Um, you don't need to really search for everything, but if you are struggling, then you can just start searching for things like I do here. So, stir fry steak strips, I know that's something I normally have from Tesco. So, again, just put the retailer in, shows up, no bother at all. Then, just adding in the the quantity and the weight for each is going to be the best option for you. Uh, again, just mess about with them until you find what you need. Sweet potato, again, Tesco sweet potato. Very simple and effective. Just change this for the retailer that's going to suit your needs. 
So then I'm just going to go down and check what my macros are sitting at for the day. So there you'll see sitting at 96 carb, 123 protein, whatever was fat there, never quite caught it. So I know I need some protein, some carbs, some fat still. So my protein cookies are go-to for me, so I'll add that in there somewhere um, as one of the snacks. But again, you time your meals, etc., however you want. Um, then I know I need some protein whey, so... I'll just type that in, now you can normally scan the packet as well, that will do no problem. So I'll add 60 grams of that. So that's me sitting at 196 protein, so that's pretty close to what I'm looking for. Now I'm going looking for some carbs, but I'm also wanting some fruits, some vegetables, some stuff for the day. So bananas, you can't scan a banana, so just look it up. Um, that would be no problem at all. Then I'm going to add some oats I believe, so scan the milk. However many out to whatever quantity you want. So I'll, I'll be using two hundred milliliters of milk. Um, also, there you go. Going to add in some oats, as you see. So there it is. There. Just change the quantity to what it is you want. Forty grams. Then we'll see where we're sitting for the day. So it's sitting at one seven three carb, two nine protein, thirty nine fat. So getting pretty close. Um, then we're going to add some more fruit in, a plum, just search it out. Very basic, very uh, easy to just manipulate and start kind of moving about. And this is how you kind of jiggle the targets about to see your, uh, to meet your macro targets for the day. Um, and finally, we'll round it out with an orange and that's see where we're left for the day. And check the nutrition, so that's close enough, 200. And that was my go. tutorial for how to use my fitness pal and how to start tracking your macros and actually using the app. Hopefully this was actually filmed for my clients, um, essentially, so if you could, hopefully it helped you out as well. And again, as I said, there would be a freebie would be a freebie at the end. So if you are struggling to figure out what your macros should be, um, just drop me a message and I'll help personally calculate them for you. Um, I'll do whatever is necessary to get them kind of results and information I need um, and then we can go from there. Also, don't forget to like and comment what are your current macros down below. What's your current goals, your fat loss or muscle gain? We'd love to hear below. Also, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to see you on here for more videos and see you in the next one.